Back to the roots is the first thing coming to my mind when I look at these brand new Rega Research speakers, though the brand is associated with vinyl players. But if you watched our previous videos, you should know these are the speakers that the founder and all-time leader of the British brand Roy Gandy created first. It's no wonder, as it things were pretty different with good AS at that distant in cache time, let alone these days when the majority of brands produced quite proper production. Kite, our central for today. Small shelf speakers weighing 3 kg 700 grams like a healthy newborn. The casing is made of fennel resin. Check out their appearance, it looks expensive. All the corners are canted to dampen vibrations in standing waves. Unfortunately, you can see that the speakers are low end and easily soiled upon closer view, especially when you touch it. I like natural wood more. On the other hand, they are produced in Britain, friends. Chips, tea, rotten weather, goddamn Mary Poppins. You know just as well as I do what a country it is. That's the British handmade, but in fact probably the Pakistani one. However, it costs 48,000 rubles at the time this review is filmed. What a trick! 48,000 rubles of worthless dough. Please write in comments what you could buy for this sum among unbranded shelf acoustics that is not made in Asia. I really wanted to take them apart, but it's kind of hard to do without crapping them up. That reminded me of Swatch, budget Swiss watch that fall out of love with repairs. Rega has successful in using cash ceramics in their vinyl players production. Maybe that's the reason they couldn't stand putting this material inside of the body. Two ceramic plates with cross braces make the casing more solid and let the speakers play at its full extent. Speaking of which, low and mid-range MX125 is reportedly handmade. To the touch it's made of paper, dark like night. The high frequencies are Block Rega ZRR, a brand new effort. By the way, it's closed by a metallic grid, which is efficient to say the least, taking the absence of the protective grills into consideration. You cannot purchase them separately like you could for CAF. On the other hand, if a kid comes to it, and usually kids press right in the center, here we have a cone, which cannot be pressed through. You, your kids and you could pluck it and nothing will happen, and everyone would be happy. Wire connection ports are humble, it seems they are made by Rega 2. I really appreciate it when a brand develops and produces speakers through and through. I don't like it when a brand buys third-party components, and once active speakers are constructed, they are presented like the best in the world, whoever it is. Phase inverter is at the back, and it's not the best solution for the shelf speakers, which are usually put close to a wall. You probably couldn't stand putting these ones on a shelf or a table right before Regal Planar 1 player. Not on a stand. Well, what did you expect? That's a project. The legs themselves themselves are missing, instead we have small bumps and a plastic black wars leg. You can use it or get rid of it. The engineering approach looks pretty interesting, but to the touch and sound it's rather cheap. As the speaker bases itself on it, it won't produce any additional sounds while loud listen for sure. As much as a week I have been brutally testing Kite and ready to share my listening experience. Sound. These speakers are totally not for movies. Explosions, smash cuts and action episodes are just shaded and you can't be immersed in what's happening on the screen. On the other side, smooth music collisions in dramas, Hitchcock's thrillers are played really not bad at all. I went over rear window again and I enjoyed it, but let's face the truth. These speakers are not for action movies and blockbusters, it's not for movies at all, that's why 5 out of 10. Music, 9 out of 10. Kite are clearly musical speakers with explicit genre preferences. They reproduce vocals in a beautiful manner. The voice fills the whole room. It's like a frontman standing beside you. And that's not just words of flowery. The instrumental sounds are wonderful and delicate, but rather sharp. And that's why I take a point from them. It's not that these speakers are super neutral like PMC, but they try not to bring anything needless in. The flip side, they don't always succeed in it. They are just begging for a Planner 1 powered up by Rega IO and you'll get a branded trio with characteristic English flavored sound. 
Reliability 9 out of 10. As my old pal used to say, you can't judge a book by its cover. I really didn't manage to break them up, but I put ultimate faith in British production quality and reggae generally. That's why I'm sure nothing will happen with them during their full lifespan when normally operated. Roy Gandhi guarantees that Kite will work normally as much as this. Futuristic design. You look at them and understand that these are uncommon AS. The industrial designers worked hard many a day to get such unusual and pretty shelf speakers. Especially they are looking good from a distance. The further, the more they sail away from the prize. The magic practically disappears upon closer view, but I like them all the same and I'm sure they would take a cordial audio nerd's fancy. 9 out of 10 for the design. Quality price 9 out of 10. I believe it's a serious competitor to budget priced shelf speakers for music. Monitor Audio Bronze is clearly worse, plus, it's made in Asia. Arslab Classic is much worse and clearly is not a competitor to Rega. Elac, with their dark German presentation, which are not approved by me, by the way, are clearly worse too. The 500th Klipsch is worthy, but they are even more rock genre oriented but are better in movies. Then Opticon 1 and Bowers and Wilkins 602 are good, but they are produced by stubborn Chinese hands and cost almost 10,000 rubles more. At last, once again, Rega surprised the whole world by making non-typical active speakers. They are advanced, they're remarkable, they're classy. It's a pure English assembly, they perfectly play jazz, instrumental music, while their price is less than 50,000 rubles. What else do you need for entire happiness, dear friends?